Hello, this is Rob Bean from Refactored, and I'm going to do a quick uh, review demo of Compass ABM and some of the ways that it supports Infinity QS. So uh, we're going to talk about some of the sales support uh, components today, prospect identification, ABM account engagement, and behavioral analytics, basically just the things that we're providing through the tool. But we're going to do that in a little bit more detail. So move on into this. So as a kind of backing up, Compass ABM supports ABM programs of all types. You know, we, we are really focused on these three main areas, which is helping you enable uh, identify accounts on your website. We help you also personalize those uh, accounts, pages and so forth on the website. And then again, we, we track the behavior, what they're doing on the sites. So you can take kind of uh, action on uh, the intent that, that that user or group of users may be doing at any time. If we look at our ABM foundation, again, there's three kinds of ABM. One is programmatic, and the second is light, and the third is the strategic accounts. And with your program, we have about 900 folks that are in that programmatic account uh, structure. And so they're receiving things like broad level pain messages. Uh, basically, everything's rooted in industry. And when those people hit the website, we're really focused on trying to make sure that they are routed to the industry page that fits their industry so that they can learn a little bit more about your offerings in some kind of uh, context that makes most sense to them. On the second side, uh, we are in the ABM Lite program. There's about 80 or so accounts that are sitting in Lite. That's going to be groups like Molson Cores and so forth. These are companies that you guys have decided to target, and we've worked with you on that specific messaging. We're using images that are going to be relevant to their industry, and then we've curated some content that's going to be pretty specific to them um, as a potential a buyer or um, uh, somebody that might be a future buyer if they're looking to expand their account. And then the strategic side are the uh, eight strategic accounts uh, that are there. And for one example, that's like the Coca-Cola bottling page that's set up. And so this is a very, very uh, deep story. It's multiple pages long, and it's going to lay out quite a bit of the things that they've experienced with you uh, through metrics and testimonials and things like that uh, to really kind of um, enhance the things that uh, the sales folks are doing and that you're doing every day to, to engage new folks folks uh, with the Coca-Cola account. So that's a little bit about the account setup and the structure. I'm going to kind of do a quick reminder on how Compass ABM works, both for your account-based marketing target accounts, but also for prospect accounts. So um, what we do is we, we turn anonymous web traffic into target account names. So, you know, when people travel around the internet, they're on a certain IP, that's what they look like. We've got technology that looks at that IP and turns that into a company name and some company details. Now, we don't get 100% on that. Usually it's a little, right around 50% or so uh, of traffic can be identified, but it's a lot better than having no information. Uh, secondly, we use that data to engage those target accounts with personalized content. So we're going to be, um, you know, providing customized banners, getting them to the right pages, whether that be their their strategic page or or their light page, or move them onto an industry page. And then um, we also help you um, understand who else is on your site. So that helps you and kind of enhance that digital prospecting process. Uh, third thing is we provide valuable firmographic data on those accounts um, when those people come through the site. And so just for example, we take an IP address and we add a company name to it. We add the website URL for that IP. We are going to look up a company address, phone number, get an employee size, a revenue size. And then also we identify the second group codes. And then we customize reporting so you only see the six, the six groups that you're interested in. So if we take a look at how that might work, um, at the top, you've got things like marketing automation that's contacting your customers. And you also have digital advertising, including search that's going on. Um, and that's going to bring traffic into your website. So when Compass ABM is activated, we are going to look at that IP and we're going to compare that to an account list. And then as opposed to seeing this custom page, we are going to actually swap that out. Uh, and they're going to see some kind of, of customized banner. And again, this is either going to be specific to their account, 
Um, so it might have their name and their logo, or it may just be an industry specific image and message that takes them to that page. And then from there, uh, there are other banners around the site, just in case they don't convert on that homepage banner. Other banners around the site will continue to uh, bring people into one of the three pages. So the strategic page, the light page, or to the programmatic pages. And all along the way, you as a sales team are going to be alerted as to behavior that's happening on the site. And so you're going to be kept up to date. And so that's really what I wanted to go over today is, is some of the, uh, just kind of a reminder on some of those emails and alerts that are sent out to you. So each day on your ABM accounts, there's two kinds of emails that are sent. Uh, you may be seeing on-site alerts, which are, so in this case, Apple, um, if Jeff was, um, was, um, uh, not aware that Apple was at, at the site. This is the kind of thing that if we identify that account, they're gonna, you're, he's going to get an email that's going to let him know that Apple's on the site today. Um, and then there's some things that could be done to go look and take a look at what Apple might be looking at. Now, if he doesn't have time to do that uh, during the day, he's also going to get a Daily Digest email that will list all of the companies that have visited that day it's going to show how many contacts are part of that visiting pool. There could be more than one people or one person that's uh, traversing the site, and you're going to get a count of how many pages that person was looking at. Uh, the new thing that's been added is you get an engagement score. So this starts to let you understand maybe how, um, how deep that visit was and maybe what their interests are. And so finally, uh, if you were to click like Ecolab in this case, it'll scroll you down in the email and you'll actually see a list of the pages that, that uh, people at that company are, are visiting and how many times they visited that particular page. The second alert that goes out is actually not to the full sales team, but this goes to Nick. And then Nick works with, with uh, your BDR to basically do uh, strategic follow-up on these accounts. So this is a once a week um, digest email that goes out and shows all of the companies that have come into the website that are in the sick groups that you guys care about. And those are then ordered by the level of engagement that the users have had on your website. So for instance, this is a much longer email than you can see, um, but there are probably 150 or so, maybe a little more uh, company names listed here, all that fit within the sick codes that you target. And uh, it's giving you that industry information, the revenue information, the employee count, and then that level of engagement, which helps really start to hone in on whether we want to potentially reach out to that uh, account and try to find a contact if we're not already in, in engaged with them already. Uh, the second thing that, that uh, Nick and BDR can do is they can click on this View Stats button, and it's going to take them to a, a web page, which goes in and really goes into a little bit more detail about the specific pages. Um, this, this particular feature can be run by date range and so forth, but it's, it's similar to that email that you just saw. It's just when you click on the name here, you get all of those details over on this right-hand panel. All right, so I'm going to close this out and I'm going to pull this up. So I had mentioned that there are some other kind of screens that are available as part of our, our Compass ABM product. Uh, they are tucked within your content management system, which is called Kentico. And uh, those are the blue icons here. Actually, there's really only a few of these that really uh, make any sense for, for your teams to be into. But uh, for instance, the ABM dashboard is what you might expect. It is a dashboard, shows how many companies are in the strategic light and programmatic program. It also shows the breakout of companies that are in by industry, so you have a sense of that. Um, and then we've also got something that shows all of the prospects that are coming to the site and kind of where those numbers are. There's actually quite a few uh, that, that got identified each week. Uh, over on the right-hand side, you've got uh, three reports. Close these real quick. So the first one here is a one-day ABM company engagement report. And this is really showing, um, this is ordered by the, the most uh, view, page views by that company. And, uh, and you get to see page views, um, sessions, and contacts on this one. 
Uh, now, generally speaking, you're going to see some lighter numbers on page views because it's only a single day's traffic. But if you look at like the seven or the 30 day, uh, you'll start to understand uh, how often a company is coming in. Now, if you wanted to get more detailed as to what 150 pages Abbott Labs uh, was visiting, you can click on Abbott Labs and it's going to take you to their profile and you simply click engagement and then page views. And this this will take you down and show you uh, the pages that they've been looking at. And so this particular customer, uh, just based on what I'm seeing here, looks like they're doing a lot of webinar activity. They're looking at product information. So this, um, it also looks like they're looking at kind of background case studies. So to me, this might represent a customer that's in a potential buying journey or is wanting to maybe expand um, into another plant. And there's people at that facility that are interested in, in learning a little bit more um, so uh, this, uh, to me as a salesperson, would let me understand kind of what they've seen. Um, now, just because you you know you know what somebody has seen doesn't mean the person you're going to call has seen this stuff. So uh, it just kind of gives you that general idea of what what they might uh, have viewed, and then you are are ready uh, a little more ready for. Um, having a conversation with them later on. Uh, the other thing I'll just show real quick uh, is another way to get to that same list of companies. So there's, again, you can go through the dashboard and you can click through on these lists or you can click this home button and you can go back to the ABM companies. This is where uh, you can actually select this by your name. So here's Jeff's accounts. And so this is the only ones you have to worry about. Um, if Jeff is interested in actually sending um, uh, I contacted Abbott, the actual customized page, you can actually click this button called marketing link. And this is the exact page that uh, you could send to that customer. So you would want to copy this out. And, um, and you know, this is a page that's automatically generated for Abbott. Now, the other thing you'll notice is when that customer comes around the website, um, come out to the home page. Our banner is actually in the second in line. You'll see that Abbott banner is there. And then in other parts around the site, you'll also notice that the Abbott banner continues to show up. Uh, and the whole idea here is that we want to make sure that they understand we're interested in them seeing that content. So here's another place where you can do it. And then also we customize the CTAs on all the pages. Let me get to a page that that's relevant for. Uh, so that, that uh, um, the... Um, the assigned account person's name actually shows up as part of the calls to actions at the bottom of all the pages. So there's another very simple uh, technique, but um, something that really does kind of help with that engagement. So anyway, I hope this has been a good overview of what is available through Compass ABM. Uh, if there are any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can reach me direct um, at 970-545-4055 uh, or rob at refactored media. I'd be happy to set up a time to talk. Thanks again. Bye-bye.